G'day guys. Hey guys, Cam McClellan. Hal Lewison. Welcome to today's Wealth Guide. I thought we'd talk today guys about time management. So we hear from time to time from people who say, love the wads, love what you do. Oh, it just takes too much time and I'm busy with work and I can't fit in building a property portfolio, everything gets started. What do I do? Um, really going back, really, really simply guys, time management structure and planning your week, I guess, is one of them. So um, for anyone out there who's saying, look, I'd like to get started, don't know what to do. I'll put to you very simply and say everyone, everyone is busy and everyone has trouble finding time. But sure. if you sit down at the start of the week and you look at your week and you say, oh, what have I got on? I guarantee if you cut down some TV time, wake up early one morning, find a way. But if you look at the start of the week and put the time in, you'll be able to find the time to go and do it. So it amazes me the amount of um, time people spend working for someone else. So spend 40 hours a week working for someone for a whole year when it comes to buying an investment property. They literally, they don't spend more than five hours. People go, nothing against uh, shopping, but Felicity uh, probably spends more time checking out shoes than most people would buy an investment property. It's crazy. Yeah, even even people at work, guys, so our staff, like at time, staff will go, oh, I can't get the job done, I'm too busy, so let's sit down and look at your structure of your day. Mm. Once you sit down and look at the structure of the day, and you say, well, let's turn your emails off for two hours, um, and you can get a whole day's work done in two hours then, rather than checking email every five minutes, Let's return phone calls in the afternoon rather than all day. All these little tricks that help people then win time back. All of a sudden they're gaining time that's been wasted in the past. And that opens up a whole new range of opportunities for them to get their job done. But we're talking today about your property portfolio. So you want to get started, what do you want to do? Set yourself a goal. We've talked about that in the past, mirror man. But then go and set yourself a timetable for the week and when things will slot in and work for you. Remember back um, when Al and I started our first successful business, we started one before that, which, but um, our, our telco business, uh, no, the uh, cleaning business. Cleaning. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Um, but after, I think it was about year two of our telco business, we had you know a small team, half a dozen people there, and we were plowing away, but busting our butt. Um, People say that um, people say that we're lucky, but it was funny. The um, the harder we worked, the more luck we had. But um, if we think back to when it comes back to time, time management, Ellen and I built a reasonable portfolio of property each each of us um, individually, and we made more off that property portfolio um, in the same space of time than we did working for a whole year in our business. So at the end of the year, we got down and we went, all right, we made X amount of money in this business. Fantastic. Our property portfolio had um, enveloped it in what we uh, what we earned just from the growth of our portfolio. So spend the time in your portfolio because it'll repay that time. Hmm. What did we say the other day? There was one we said so the median house price guy fifty five hundred thousand. Let's call it property grows by fifty thousand dollars per year. 10%. Fifty grand. Fifty grand. Round figures good. How many hours you need to put into your portfolio? Growing at fifty thousand per year. I, I dare say you're earning fifty thousand dollars an hour almost during the whole year of managing that one property. So yeah. it's pretty effective time management, guys, but you just gotta get out and do it and get started, and then it takes care of itself. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.